Hello everyone, good morning to you all, good afternoon and good evening. So how are you all doing my beautiful ones? I hope you guys are doing well. Yes, be well and be grateful to God, if not for anything. For the gift of life, life is a privilege for you to be alive. Alright, so rejoice always and everything will be fine. Alright, so if today is your first time in this channel, you are highly welcome. Please do consider clicking on the red button, subscribe and turn on the bell notification. So you will always be notified whenever I upload a new video. For my return subscribers, thank you very much for coming back today. I love you always and stay blessed. All right. All right. In today's video, sorry, I just want to say something briefly because concerning the, the death of um, the prophet T.B. Joshua. All right. So I... I was going through the internet, like to different social medias, and I saw so many pictures, so many videos, so many things concerning this young man of God. Like, and I, when I was going through some comments of people, like some write up write up of some people, like I got something that, like I was amazed. I was like, what do people really think this life is? You are not God. You don't have right to judge. So that's why I brought the issue here. So we can talk like a family, like, so that we should know that whatever we are doing in life, that there is a record that is being made. Whether you are a Christian, whether you are a Muslim, whether you are a Paganist. Like I do tell you, all you need is to keep your hands clean. All you need is to walk in the right part of life. Remember that after death, what will people thought about you? Look at all over social media. Anyway, it's about Prophet Joshua, Prophet Joshua, Prophet Joshua. Yes, people are really talking much about his goodness, how he started his life, how he's been able to help people, and how he has done his own work on earth. But the judgment is still remain to God because we don't have time, to, we don't have that uh, privilege to judge. Your own is that keep doing the right thing and so that when you are gone, people will be talking more good things about you. So now why I'm making this video, please, if we are in a party of those people that are saying, oh, this man of God is evil, oh, this prophet is this, oh, this prophet is fetish, oh, this prophet is diabolic, please desist from it. You don't have right to judge. Please, like when I gone through some messages, I was like, people don't know the consequences of their words. They don't know the implications of what they said. Some of the things we are suffering today is as a result of what we said unknown to us. Or the thing that we said and we thought, oh, this is a method, it doesn't matter. Without knowing that this thing has a lot of impact, a negative impact in our life. You are not in position to judge. The young man has finished his own calling on earth. Whether he serve God, whether he serve man, whether he serve, is not your business. All you need to do, he's dead. Just sympathize with the family. Pray for his soul. All right? Pray for his soul. Grant him. Sympathize. Pray. Condose the family that, that is bearing this loss. Your own is not to just be there, be judging, oh, this man, forget about his gragra, forget about his this, this. Please, you are not in the position to do that. Allow his God, allow his force, the forces that work with him to judge him. I'm not trying to side anybody, whether you're a Christian or anything. But because, like I said, it's because of what I heard that made me to do this video. Like, we're family here, and I won't see something that maybe that is... It's going to affect anyone, and I kept quiet. Your own is just, please always mind what he said. The young man has finished his work, and he's gone. Your own is that, pray for him, pray for his family, pray for his soul to rest in peace, and allow him and his God, and the guardian angel to judge him, to know wherever he's going. You are not the person taking him to where he's going. So you are not in a right place to start judging him. So please, if you are in a party of those people that kept judging this man of God, that kept judging this prophet, saying, oh, he's uh, evil, he's using charm, he's using this, he's using that. He may not be using charm. Me and you don't know. He's only his God that knows how he did his worship or how he did his service. And he is alone that to reward him. So please know what you thought about people. What you don't know, don't say. So you don't add problem to yourself. 
All right. Some people, some some uh, some people was like saying, "Oh, the man." No, let me tell you. Whether you are the most righteous human being on earth, God can reveal anything to you. Nature can reveal anything to you. But what they cannot tell you is the day you are going to die. Go and quote me right anywhere. You are not going to know when you will die and exactly what will kill you. All right? My grandma used to say that, That all mbenyana so it's only left for him and his God, for you and your God to decide. All you need to do is to always be ready. All you need to do, always keep your hands clean. When you see that this is A, say this is A. When you see that this is B, say this is B. And that is all. Any day, any time, the time comes, you go. And another thing is that what are you leaving behind? What will people be saying about you? Look at him, he's just gone. All social media, wherever you go, is about TB, Joshua, TB, Joshua. Because to man understanding, he did his own journey so well on his own field. So your own is just to do your own so well on your own field, not to be judging him, not to condemning him. You are not his God. You are not the one that called him. Then allow that, who, allow that man who called him to judge him. So please don't go and add another thing into your life because you want to simply want to tell people oh that you know everything or you want to show that oh you are the most righteous. Please always know what you say so you don't add to your problem. And also wherever you are, pray for the family, pray for the church, pray for whosoever that bear this lost. All right, that God should console them. It's not easy to lose someone. My people used to say brazonios or hike bukonko. If you understand this, that when when you see a death of another person, it will be like it will seem as if it's a firewood they carry. Until when it came to you, you will know the pains that others are bearing. So I pray you will not experience that. But all I am telling you is that wherever you see people saying negative things about this particular issue, please desist from there. Don't add your own. Just be at the right path and always pray for the family, for God to console them, and also pray for His soul to rest in peace. And it shall be well with you. Thank you for watching. Thank you for watching. Thank you for watching. And I will see you in my next video. Stay blessed. Bye.